Hey, everybody clap. Everybody. December 14th, 2020. The first person in Madison receives a COVID-19 vaccine. Everyone was so excited to see that cardboard box arrive um, and to get a look inside and see uh, what we'd all been waiting for. It was like waiting for a box of treasure. RN Director of Ambulatory Operations, Andrea Whipperfirth, remembers the day fondly. She handled UW Health's vaccine rollout and says it was a day of hope and what felt like a tipping point in the battle against the pandemic. There were lots of tears. There was lots of cheering. The vaccine's arrival signaled the long start of the medication's rollout. One of the things I said at the time was that we are in a race now, the vaccines versus variants. Principal investigator for both AstraZeneca and Moderna COVID-19 vaccine trials, Dr. William Hartman, was on the front lines of the clinical testing. The vaccines have actually done a very good job of keeping people from dying uh, from COVID-19 and, and to, a, to a very strong extent, uh, keeping people from getting severe disease from COVID-19. Rollouts started slow. Vaccines were in short supply, forcing DHS to announce eligibility groups, beginning with health care workers and first responders, trickling down to seniors, essential workers, and young adults. Okay. Okay. As variants and boosters started springing up, attitudes around the vaccine were changing. People had a lot of fear about the vaccine. That included our own staff. Uh, a lot of people uh, in the general public saw it these vaccines sort of as, as failures in a way because people were still getting COVID-19. Controversy around the vaccine seemingly swelled in the fall of 2021, with children 5 to 11 becoming eligible for the vaccine halfway through their semester. People, though, were, were skeptical uh, on, on the safety profiles. Uh, certain reports came out uh, uh, concerning heart conditions called uh, myocarditis in, in these vaccines. That information kind of took a, a life of its own. Dr. Hartman says the fall was also marred by vaccine fatigue. Whipper says excitement around the shot turned to doubt. A hard thing to maintain over time if there's negativity or uh, resistance coming from your patients, your partners, your family at home. Endurance in the race to vaccinate and strive for herd immunity has landed Wisconsin in a place of normalcy as the declaration prepares to be lifted. And so seeing it uh, become now just a standard of care that we can all follow, my uh, main feeling is just a lot of pride. But that doesn't mean the work on vaccines has reached the finish line. The, the new charge uh, by the federal government is to, to, to figure out how can we make a vaccine uh, that is much more variant proof and much more uh, longer lasting uh, so that we don't run into these things like, like vaccine fatigue again. In Madison, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News.